It was, for Joyce Eshaquan's family, four weeks of pain. But they came to the inquiry every day, hearing from witness after witness describe the mother of Seven's final hours, how she felt, how she was mistreated, and what went wrong. On the last day of the hearing, a message from the coroner to Eshaquan's husband. À vos enfants, Monsieur Dubé. She told him to teach his children that a small revolution of reconciliation was started by their mother. For the first time outside the hearing room, Eshaquan's husband did speak, thanking the hundreds who showed up in support. He says it's given him energy and strength after a difficult inquiry. The family is very uh, happy about that. Uh, they felt uh, all the, uh, the warmth that coming from everybody. Uh, but it was, it was difficult. One of the first things the inquiry did was watch the Facebook Live recording, a seven-minute video where Eshaquan is insulted by staff and laughed at. She was told she was better off dead and only good for sex. Among the witnesses, a nurse from the Joliet Hospital in the video. She testified when she heard it, she couldn't believe it was her, called it cruel, and begged Eshaquan's family for forgiveness. Now, Eshaquan had gone to hospital with stomach pains. Two days later, she would die of a buildup of fluid in her lungs. But according to an expert who testified, she didn't have to die. He said she would have lived if she'd been monitored more closely. This is not just about firing one or two people that are... The family's lawyer says a recognition of systemic racism is needed. The inquiry was told that staff at the hospital in 2018 was offered training on a Tikamek culture. Of 200 employees, only five signed up. After Eshaquan's death and the outcry that came with it, the Regional Health Board made cultural sensitivity training mandatory. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.